Hello, everyone. Today, I want to tap on our inner protector or creating a relationship with our inner protector. So what is our inner protector? Sometimes I, I call her my inner protector girl, right? It's this idea that from the time we were really little, we've had this part of us that is protective of us, right? So maybe as a kid, your parents bring you somewhere and there's a friend of theirs that's a stranger and they come over to like pick you up and your response is to cry because you don't feel safe, right? Your inner protector is trying to protect you. And as you, as you get older, that inner protector is influenced by the people that you are around the most. And sometimes that inner protector can even take on the voice of, that, of, of those close loved ones. And it can get really, really loud. And while the purpose is to keep you safe, sometimes that can go into overdrive and it can produce lots of anxiety feelings like you aren't good enough feelings of having to keep small so that you st you know stay safe um, and maybe these are things that were necessary in your past when you when you were younger because you didn't have the ability to uh, speak up or or it wasn't safe for you to speak up then and um, now things now things are different and you can approach it differently and it, this has come up quite a few times lately with with clients and what I like to do is almost think of this inner protective girl as a uh, as a part of you as a, as a separate part of you and personify it and exercises like drawing a picture of what your protector girl looks like or um, you know thinking about things that or t writing down things that she that she says or even writing a, pr a letter to your protector girl with um, you may be thanking her for, for protecting you all of these years but also that you want to change your relationship with her because because the way that she is trying to protect you is no longer is no longer serving you and you want to collaborate and um, and go about this and go about feeling safe in a new way and working working together and so while sometimes this can feel a little silly at first tapping as if you're talking to your protector girl I have found that it can be really quite effective in in helping to understand maybe why you feel the way that you feel in certain times or or why thing things happen and beginning to shift that so that you do feel safe and can move forward in in a new way and um, and feel confident in doing so so let's do a little bit of tapping today and hopefully this will this will help you connect with your inner protector so coming to that pinky side of the hand and maybe it's thinking about how your inner protector has been protecting you, right? So maybe you are someone who worries all the time and your inner protector always has to worry about something because if she's worrying about the bad things that could happen, then that feels like if that bad thing happens, then I'll be more prepared for it because I've, I've been worrying about it all this time. When in actuality, we know that worrying about it in advance isn't going to make it any easier if that terrible thing that you're worrying about does happen to happen. It's going to be just as terrible and the worrying is such wasted energy. So think about how your protector girl protects you. Maybe maybe your protector girl lashes out, right? Maybe maybe she gets real quiet and, and in, um, influences you to get real small and, and shut down and not respond at all. So think about that, take a few deep breaths, and we're gonna get started. Even though I know my protector is trying to help me, it's time to change things. Even though I know my inner protector thinks she's doing the right thing, it isn't serving me anymore. Even though my inner protector has been with me since the beginning and she's acting out in a way that she thinks is helpful, 
it's not helping me. And I'm ready to create change. My inner protector has been working hard for a long time. And she can get real loud. And I appreciate that she's been trying to protect me. And maybe it helped in some way in the past. But it isn't helping me now. So right now I'm sending, sending my inner protector girl lots of love. And I'm telling her it's time to do things differently. I'm taking back the power. I appreciate all that you've done for me over the years. And I want you to still protect me, but in a new way. in a way that serves me, in a way that builds me up. So things are gonna change around here. We can do this together. You're a part of me and I love you. But it's time for some change. I'm ready to feel. How do you want to feel? Strong and confident? It's time to feel strong and confident. time to make decisions from a place of peace and calmness. Take a nice deep breath in and let it go. Even though my protector has been working this way for a long time, I know that she can change. I know that I can guide her on this journey. Even though my inner protector can get real loud telling me what to do or what not to do, I'm taking back the reins. Even though I know that my protector, my inner protector has been doing everything to help keep me safe. Safety for me is going to look different now. And I don't need her to react or respond the way that she has been. I can feel my emotions and feel safe. I can feel my emotions and feel safe. I don't need to shut down or lash out. I'm choosing to do things differently moving forward. I can create a safe space. A safe space to feel my feelings. I can work with my inner protector. I can communicate with her. I can help guide her on this journey. And 
I'm ready to respond differently. Take a nice deep breath in and let it go. Now, I recognize that the words we were using there were pretty, were, were, were pretty global, right? Um, and I did that purposefully so that hopefully you could all relate to this. But you want to get as specific as possible with your, with your verbiage and what you want to be saying to your inner protector. Letting her know that it is safe. Maybe there's a particular situation that comes to mind of, of something from your past that, that has happened that you want to address. And maybe it's sending her uh, love and appreciation for all that she's done for you and knowing that it's okay that things are differently. Letting her know she's, she's done her job and she can still protect you, but she, you need her to do it in new, in new ways. If you have found this helpful, let me know in the comments. I'm sending all the love and um, all the good vibes. Take care of yourself. If you need support, please reach out. Information is, um, is below this video. Take care, guys.